All right, Rich Curbelo here on NWB TV with Dave Bergman. Dave, um, we talked how great the Tigers were coming into spring training last time we talked. They're going through a hard time. What do you say to them when they're going through this tough stretch? It's the same cliche that's been used for years and years and years and years. It's a marathon, not a sprint. And this is a, actually, I think a great learning experience for this ball club because we're going to find out who the real leaders are of this team. And it's also going to be a true test for Brad Osmus. Uh, you know, things were going pretty good in spring training, got off to a good start, and then all of a sudden uh, hit about 10 days of really, really crummy results. And you expect your starting pitchers to be flawless. But again, they're human beings, and they're going to go through periods where they're struggling. Unfortunately, they're all struggling at the same time, except for Sanchez. And it's not that they're getting beat three to one. They're getting beat, you know, nine, 10, 11, 12 to whatever. So it's going to be, um, it's going to be very interesting to see how long it takes for them to pull out of these, pull out of this uh, situation. But when it's all said and done, I'm going to stick by my comments uh, before the season even started that we're going to be very, very happy with this ball club when it's all, when it's all over. And speaking of the comments, uh, Rick Porcello has been masterful. And I have to tell you, I'm just so happy that you brought him up to the scene. And 7-2 is not too bad. It's not too bad at all. And couldn't happen to a nicer guy, somebody that's dedicated and works so hard. I did watch him throw a number of innings, his last outing. And, you know, his biggest problem was the ball was up. And when he gets the ball up, he gets hurt, as do a lot of other pitchers. But he's a sinker ball pitcher. He's got to keep the ball down. He's got to hit his spots. And when he does, he's going to be very, very effective. But let's remember that I don't care how good of a team you have. You're going to go through a period where things are a little bit tough. And even the year that we won it in 84, we had some periods where things weren't going the way we'd like for them to go. Fortunately, though, we had a pretty good cushion but it wasn't until really the middle of, Ju of June in 84 that we started get getting some space between us and Toronto. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be an exciting pennant race because mm -hmm. it appears that nobody's going to run away with it. And basically everybody in the division has that opportunity to get hot and be in first place. So it's gonna, it, it should be a fun summer for the fans in Detroit and for the fans in our division because I think it's going I don't think anybody's going to run away with it. Well, for Rich Curbelo, Dave Bergman here, we're going to talk a little bit down the road about how the Tigers are progressing. And yes, Dave, I said Rick Porcello would win 16, and I am on grow for that. Well, he could win 16 by the All-Star break. <laughs> Thank you.